Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, thanks to the good folks over at Giant Mouse, we get to take a look at this guy. Now, it is a pretty familiar design. It, of course, is the Ace Iona, but this one is the version 2 in the Magnificent Magna Cut. Everybody is going Magna Cut, which is a good steal. So, but yes, they are. The Ace Iona is now available in Magna Cut. But what do we have? Well, you've got this sort of green micarta going on here. I know it's kind of coming across as <laughs> not quite green, more brown or tan. But it is listed as green micarta. And we've had the green micarta discussion before. But there is also a black linen micarta version as well. As you can see there, now this does come with a wire clip that is reversible. Very nice. Very nice. Do we have a spot for a lanyard? Nah, I don't think so. It's pretty close. So, but it does come with a wire clip, like I said, that is reversible. But they also are sending out with the version 2 a new version of a pocket clip. As you can see there, it is a wire wire replacement clip now i put this on for a little while and i'll be perfectly honest with you uh there's a reason the wire clip is back on there um as you can see that wire clip does dive down sooner than the replacement clip and i like the wire clip it just feels better in my hand it, it for me it just works much better so that's why this clip is not on there now but there you go, kind of an idea, a little bit of a sort of a spoon sort of shape. A uh, plus, I think the wire clip is easier in and out of pocket. So that's why the wire clip's back on it. But the micarta, really pretty darn good grip. It's got some good texturing going on. Contoured scales. Ah. The chamfering kind of adds to that look of con there is a slight contour there it's not they're not completely flat they are slightly contoured at least they sure feel like they are and they've got a good chamfer that kind of adds to that and then of course you've got this you know you've got the, kind of these milled out spots on it just to kind of give the handle a little bit more flair a little bit more texture but very nice and oh we're definitely going to talk about the handle here coming up but dual thumb studs, as you can see, liner lock. Now, this thing does jump out pretty well on those thumb studs. Now, I, I'm i not reverse flicking this one. <laughs> I'm just not. Um, maybe if I, you know, tuned it up a little bit and, and got it so it dropped shut a little bit better. But even so, the detent is pretty stout. Um, and that's a good thing. For me, I like the detent exactly where it's at. Nice access. Oh yeah, you got decent access to that liner. You got some jimping going on there, that really fine jimping. It pretty much grabs your thumb. You don't need to dig down in there or anything. Flip it out. I'm just, yeah, I, I really cannot reverse flick that. I don't have enough room to get in there behind it to flip it out. So, uh, love the blade shape. There you go, Ace CPM Magna Cut. It does have a nice, look at that stone wash. Nice light stone wash going on there. Definitely dig that. Nice drop point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm digging this one. All right, we're going to zoom out a little bit. Do our spec check. So, overall, we're looking at, it's just, it's right about seven and a quarter from what I measure I'm getting about four and a quarter on the handle, pretty much right about a three inch blade, three inch cutting edge as well. And then your grip length, I'm looking at about three and a quarter. So my, my pinky does ride up on that a little bit, but it feels absolutely wonderful, wonderful in hand. Definitely a very, very good size for me. So, of course, we'll do our size comparisons. PM2 is going to be a little bit larger knife. 
bug out. It's going to be pretty close. A little bit of a trade-off. Bug out's pretty much got the blade length where the Iona version 2 has got the handle length. So kind of a back and forth with that one. Get an overall weight on it. Three point four, not bad, not bad at all. Our pocket ride, very nice in and out of the pocket. Definitely, definitely tucks away really nice. Now I try to carry mine more over in the corner, just like so. Tucks away. I mean, you got a little bit peeking out there, not a whole lot. So very nice in and out of pocket retention. Pretty darn good. You don't have a huge solid pop. Coming over that seam, but it's good, good to go as far as retention goes. Oh, what do I want to say about this knife? Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about the ergos and the handle. I absolutely love the curvature of the handle. I, I'm really, I really enjoy handles that have that curvature to them. I don't know. It just kind of feels, I, I want to, you know, I kind of want to refer to it as a pistol grip. It is kind of, sort of, but not really, maybe a really old style pistol, like we're talking musket, but it just feels very, very good in hand to me. Now, as you can see, that pocket clip, see how that clip dives down right away? Um, the point catches me right in that crease, so that's a good thing. The other one just stood up a little bit too far out, and I just could feel it more than I want to. I can feel this clip. Absolutely. I can feel it a little bit. Not a hot spot for me. Uh, it doesn't annoy me or anything. Where this clip, yeah, it just, it just stood up a little bit too much, too far out. And I felt it just way more than I want to. That's why I went back to the wire clip. Blade, you've got some nice jimping going on up there. Where my thumb naturally lands, I mean, I'm pretty much right on that jimping. And it's really fine. As you can see, that's really fine jimping. Now, if you wanted to get into a draw cut or something like that, that jimping is a little bit further out. So it's very nice. I mean, my finger does not go anywhere. It grips very, very well. I like that a lot. Giant Mouse has put out some really, really... I, th You know... I'm just trying to think, there isn't a Giant Mouse knife that I've had that I don't think I've enjoyed. Now, this one doesn't have a crown spine. It's got a regular spine, all good. I think that crown spine gives it a little bit flashy, not flashier, but more sophisticated look. Now, the thumb studs, they are in this cutting path just ever so slightly right back there at the corner but as you can see this one was sharpened pretty well so not too bad they do cover up the it is in the cutting path though just a little bit i'm trying to give a there you go just a bit not too bad though not enough to bother me might bother some doesn't really bother me otherwise oh yeah, that is a very, very well done, well made knife. Of course, Giant Mouse coming out of Italy, Jens, Vox, those two are, they're a powerhouse team in, in my in my opinion. Like I said, I've pretty much enjoyed just about anything I've seen coming from Giant Mouse. And it's going to be really cool. Um, of course, our, our good friend John. Jack Farm Boy is working for Giant Mouse now, now so I'll be able to get to see him uh, at Blade Show West. Very much looking forward to that for sure. But let me know down in the comments. What do you think, guys? This guy, well, this one, both of them, actually. Both models sell for about $195. That's what you're looking at uh, for the Iona version 2 in that magical Magna Cut. So, as always, guys, greatly appreciate you. Thanks again, Giant Mouse, for sending this one out. Really, really appreciate it. Appreciate all of you stopping by to check it out with me today. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys.
I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.